I'm going to show you one of the new Photoshop CS5 features today. I think this is of particular interest for painters and retouchers, but it's a great workflow improvement for everybody once you get used to using it. And what it's going to do is this only works with the brush tools, so remember that only works with brush tools. And it's called the HUD color picker, and essentially it pops up a panel for you to choose and mix colors where the mouse is on the screen rather than having to go up to the conventional ways that we've done it before. Now in previous versions of course we've got the color panel over here and we have the swatches panel and of course you can always go down here and always double click in the tools palette which is primarily what I used to do and select your color there. Well this new version will appear on the screen wherever your mouse is on the screen and what you're going to do on the Mac you're going to hold down the command option control keys and click in the image and on the windows you're going to use the shift alt and right click in the image so I'm going to show you now I've got the control option and command keys held down and I'm just going to click in the image with the mouse and you can see this new panel appears and I can now drag around with all these keys and the mouse held down and select my new color now there is one little gotcha here you know if you want to change this is the hue saturation lightness panel that's the default in the Photoshop preferences well if you want to change the hue you know instinct is going to tell you of course because you've got to have these keys held down to have the panel appear to just move the mouse over here and select from the list which you can see what happened it actually moved the color selector here with us what you've got to do is I'm going to go with a light blue there you actually have to add into the mix the space key so I'm going to hold down the space key and that locks that color selector into position there and now I can move over to the list I'm going to remove the space key and you can see that I can now drag up and down to choose a new color there and I want to go back the other way I'm just going to hold down the space key move back into this panel release the space key and now I can drag around in here again so that's just one little thing for you to watch out for and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to release the mouse release all the keys from the keyboard and I can start painting with my new color so you know if you're a painter and you're working in full screen or you just like to use shortcuts and you don't or you don't have the panels appearing you know you can just hold down these keys click bring up this panel and go over here quickly change color release them all and continue painting so I think this is a really nice new feature now if you don't want to use the hue saturation lightness panel you can easily change that you just bring up the Photoshop preferences and you can see in here the preference for HUD color picker now default out of the box is going to be the hue strip it has another version which is essentially just a larger panel I'll just show you that quickly so you can see it so I'm going to hold down the keys click again and you can see that's just a bigger representation of the same panel I'll bring the preferences back up and if you go over you can see we have three sizes of the hue wheel and I'll show you the hue wheel version you can pick whichever one works best for you I'm just going to hold down the keyboard keys and I'm just going to click and you can just drag around and select a color again hold down the space key move over to the ring you can change your hue I'm going to go with say something purple here move back in here change it to a nice richer color and continue painting so that's one of the new features get used to the keyboard shortcut like I say I think that once you start using it you'll find it's a lot quicker than going into the panels and changing options like that so give it a go see what you think